Ooh, I almost dumped y'all down there. Hello, hello, kitchenettes. Sorry about that, folks on the bottom. All those Instagram folks. You guys are, woo, getting dizzy over here. All right, let me see if I can readjust again here. Sorry. Okay, maybe I got myself in both one. Oh, look at that. I'm in both of ya. I, I mean, I got you here, both of ya. I got y'all on Instagram down here, Facebook up here. Welcome, welcome. Happy freaking New Year, y'all. Happy New Year. Did everybody have a good New Year's? Safe New Year. I was in bed by 7.30. My sweet son gave me a little third eye kiss though at midnight. I, heard, I, I felt it and then I heard the reservation sounding off with their, their shit. So that was cool. I went back to sleep. Didn't care. I don't care. I don't care. Too old for New Year's. I don't care anymore. So cheers. Cheers, cheers. Tonight I am drinking some white chocolate peppermint white caffeinated tea. Why? I don't know. Because the white chocolate peppermint freaking tastes amazing, y'all. That's why. Because it's good. It's good. All right, so I'm trying my hand at something that I have never, ever, ever cooked before. And I gotta be honest with you, I've only had it a couple of times. Uh, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but I'm gonna go with the phonetic, what looks to be phonetic to me. So if I am wrong, please correct me. I do not mind, I do not mind. Chana masala. So that is an Indian dish, and basically it's like, chickpeas in tomatoes super easy so i'm still doing this detox diet right and I, i'm not gonna lie you guys i am just freaking starving all the freaking time i feel like no matter what i do no matter what i eat i cannot even get satisfied let alone full okay so my daughter had a little packet of this in my cupboard and I was like, she's not going to eat it. So why don't I? I have my onions here. I just, if you don't use a lot of onions, just chop them up in a bag, throw them in the freezer. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I did put a little bit of coconut oil in this pan. Let me kind of explain what I'm doing as I'm telling this story. So anyways, my daughter had this uh, chana masala, and again, I could be saying it wrong, in the cupboard. And I thought, well, I'll give that a whirl. Maybe because it's got chickpeas in it, you know, it might fill me up a little bit. And she had a little rice bowl, and I was like, Shh, easy meal for me. Worked out really well in my opinion. So I heated it up, and I thought, this has got to be easy to make. There's nothing to it. It's got to be easy to make, right? So I start researching all of these recipes and because I'll always do that. And, you know, of course, everybody does things a little bit differently. You know, some people were like, you have to use fresh tomatoes. Some people were like, you can use canned tomatoes. You shouldn't use fire roasted tomatoes. You should only use this kind, whatever. Do what you do best. And that's all I have to say is just do what you do best and it will be fine. It's always going to be fine. All right, so I'm just making these little onions. I have probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of onions here. I'm only doing like half of, half of basically what every recipe that I found calls for. Um, so if you just search it, it'll pop up with the recipe. And I'm literally doing like half of that because I'm the only one eating it. So I'm not gonna have a bunch of leftovers that are gonna waste away in my refrigerator because maybe it doesn't turn out. Right? So maybe it doesn't waste away my refrigerator. Maybe it just wastes away my trash can. You guys ever have those moments? Totally. Totally have them. It's awesome sauce. So again, again, Happy New Year. Welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. I'm totally slacking. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. I am here to just give you my shit. Okay? I'm just giving it to you. I don't know what experience level you have, um, but cooking can be easy, it can be fun, and it can, you know, it can be a New Year's resolution if that's what you want it to be. Learn how to cook. I know lots of people did that during COVID. All right, so 
I got some garlic here. I think I crushed up like three cloves. If you only have powder, that's okay too. Use what you got, guys. Use what you got. The next one's going to be a little bit trickier because I don't know how much I have left. I don't know if I can even squeeze any more out. I've got some ginger here. If you use fresh ginger, you do you, boo-boo. Um, I get this stuff that's usually just kind of pre-pureed, but it's to the end of it, so I don't know how much I'm going to actually get out of this, if any, but I do have some powdered ginger here that I'm also going to throw in. And I am a huge fan of ginger. I love ginger. All right. I think that's about the end of my my pureed ginger there. Starting to burn my stiff. Starting to burn it. Don't want to do that. I got this down on a medium. Which if you've watched me long enough, y'all know I don't cook on a medium. Ooh, it smells delicious though. Garlicky and gingery and I love it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this powdered ginger in there too. Alright, and then I'm going to throw a little bit of turmeric in there. This is really good for, actually I think this is a pop top, maybe, maybe not. Um, this is really good for your joints, turmeric is, which I can totally use. That's why I'm doing this whole detox thing, yo. Totally doing the detox for my joints. So I'm no longer old and busted. Just kidding, I'm still old and busted. I'm just not as broke right now. Ooh, smells good. Shake up a little salt and pepper. And I just do a little bit of this at the beginning because once you get everything in there, it, it's gonna change the flavor profile. So if you gotta go back and add some, feel free, guys, feel free. Now I can tell you that from my experience of researching this, the one thing that consistently came up is that everybody calls it gravy. And to me, it's not a gravy. It's kind of weird. It's more like, to me, it's more like a sauce. But I mean, gravy, sauce, whatever. Whatever works for you. If you want to call it gravy, then call it gravy. It's probably the appropriate thing to do because like, hi, I'm not from India, so I couldn't really say. Showing my American here because to me gravy is like something you put on fries or something. I don't know. All right. Now I have some roasted green chilies and I'm just going to throw like a little tablespoon, a little heaping tablespoon in there, maybe a little more. And there was a spice called garam masala that it asked for. I actually just made my own. Again, Googled it. Um, I will post a little, a little uh, picture of something I literally just found right before I came online. I'm going to sprinkle a little of that on there too. It's really just kind of a crazy mix of spices that are, it's like, all of these spices over here. I got some cinnamon, some cloves, some cardamom, nutmeg, cumin. Um, it asked for coriander, but I do not have any coriander. So if you have some coriander, you do that. I am, however, going to put one of these little packets in there because I bought this from my awesome show with Louie and Lottie. I bought this because of them. And I noticed it actually has coriander in it. So I thought I will just add a little packet of this. Nobody will be the wiser, right? I'm not gonna know the difference. All I've ever had is a, a kind of flavor that's, that's probably not even the right flavor. I'd probably die if I went to an actual Indian restaurant and ate this as far as comparison. But it was still good, guys, it was still good. All right. So I got that in there. I'm gonna add my can of tomatoes and I went with fire roasted because that's what I have. And they're garlic, so 
I can't go wrong with that. And this really is a quick, quick meal. It smells amazing. I can tell you guys that. It smells delicious. Delicious. And so I am opting to actually, when this is all done, I'm gonna put it on, I have some sweet potatoes over here that I have seasoned with salt and pepper and cinnamon and nutmeg and a little bit of ginger. And that's how I'm going to choose to eat this tonight. I also have some grits up here because my lovely kitchenette Rhonda sent me some grits. So thank you Rhonda and John. So I got like real from Georgia grits, you guys, and I had to make some, and I can't believe like one cup of grits makes so much grits, and I'm the only one in the house that eats them. But I'm also on this diet where I can't eat any cheese. So I had to not put cheese in them, which made me sad, and I had to not put cream in them, which made me really sad. And I just made them with water and some spices, and then I topped them off with some sesame oil. And quite honestly, it almost tasted like it had cheese in it, so I was happy. All right, now I have one can of garbanzo beans that I have rinsed and drained. And again, every recipe that I looked at calls for like twice this stuff. So I'm just doing once this stuff. So I'm the only one that eats it. So we're just gonna put the garbanzo beans in there and then we're gonna reduce it down for a little bit. And I think if you're using fresh garbanzo beans or if you're using fresh tomatoes, you're definitely gonna wanna add a little bit of liquid to it. So maybe some vegetable stock or something similar to that. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. You guys can see it up there. I'll bring the pan up here. There we go. Heck yeah. Let's see if I can not spill it everywhere. So I'm super excited to try this. So I'm just gonna let it kind of hang out and simmer for about 10 minutes. Let those flavors marry together, give it a little taste and see if I need anything else. Um, yeah, that was, I mean, it's a super easy recipe. You can also serve this on basmati rice or any rice you have if you don't have basmati. If you do not have the garam masala and you don't have the stuff to make it and you happen to have one of these little Chinese five spices in your cupboard like I do, um, this is almost very similar to the garam masala. And I think the biggest difference is gonna be that this actually has licorice root in it. So you have to be really careful because it's super intense, super intense. I'm also gonna add a little bit of chili powder to mine. I think the, the couple of the recipes that I looked at um, called for, uh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Called for, not paprika, I don't know, another spicy one. It was the cayenne, that's what it was, cayenne pepper. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of chili powder because that's what I have, I don't have any cayenne. And we're just gonna let it simmer. And that's it. That's it, guys. Hello, Vicky. Hello, my special edition mug winner, Vicky. I should be getting a new one for February very soon. I know you guys down at, in Instagram land here can't see this, so I'm gonna try to try to boost it down a little bit. Last time I did that, I knocked you over though, so. I want to be careful with that too. I want to be careful with that too. So now we can talk business. We've already done the cooking and we're just waiting for it to simmer. Super easy peasy, right? And it's vegetarian. So you almost can't beat that either if you're on a vegetarian diet. Side note, I don't know how y'all do it. I just don't. Mad respect to you guys that can eat vegetarian or vegan because I, you know, I struggle. I'm struggling with this. I got one more day to go. That's it, just one more day to go. So, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Share it, share it, share it. I would love to see some, some more people pile into that YouTube channel. I do need to upload this week's and last week's video. I am sorry I missed last Wednesday. 
Um, my mom was actually in the hospital and I had to go see her. So yeah, she's doing fine now. She's doing good now. Um, but we weren't really sure what was going on. So that's where I'm at with that. So that's why I missed last Wednesday and it was such short notice because my mama was in the hospital. She's still there, she's just doing a lot better. She's no longer in ICU, so that's a plus. Um, Subscribe, share, follow, all that fun stuff. I do have YouTube page, I have a Facebook page, I have my Instagram, I just changed that over. And I'm excited that you all showed up, you all keep showing up, so do I. So I will be here again on Wednesday. I will no longer be on this detox diet, so I don't know what we're going to make, but hopefully it'll be something delicious and fun and exciting and easy, because that's what I try to do. Make it easy for you. Um, make it filling, make it delicious, and make it a crowd pleaser, because that's how I roll. Just how I roll. All right, y'all. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate your support. Happy, happy new year. I hope y'all have a great Christmas, new year, all that fun stuff, and I will see you on Wednesday. Cheers.